You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Here? You do. I don't give two you shits if you don't me. fucking like me. You love me. You'd be devastated. No, I wouldn't really. I do well, game one, apparently. What? You're not going to Just saying, look at that. Jess, you kiss my white motherfucking ass. Well, I don't care. But I have to respect you because I'm in your house. That's why I'm nice to you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you really start recording? Nice. No. My favorite thing in the world is recording when Brooks doesn't know it. I'm still remember when he got me and Chris. <laughs> oh my god. We was what were we talking about? You were talking about a train pulling a train <laughs> making a train pull a bait pull the big show out of his mom's vagina. What? <laughs> oh you remember that? Yeah, I do. I can't believe he recorded that. It's crap. one of our, our most listened to podcasts, actually. Because I'm talking about a, a train pulling a big shot of his mom's vagina. That's how big he was. Anyway. You know what I'll never forget? What? Your reenactment of Kane causing a lady to give birth in the middle of the wrestling Is this going to be our best of episode? Well, I did that. At the wrestling school? Yeah, I oh. really yeah, you like you jumped up and you ran around the ring like you were running around in circles and you like took a bump and then you had the baby and <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to reenact that one day. No, I can't do it no yeah, more. You were talking about how Kane's Kane's Pyro is gonna put somebody into labor and they're gonna have a baby. What are you going, Jess? I have to get ready for work. Stay out here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Eels podcast. <laughs> My I'm name is Jacob it. Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Brian Man Peacock. Fuck you. He skipped you. Oh no, God. I was just going in different order. <laughs> I'm Jeremy. Shit, what's my name? Jeremy the Coach Brooks. The, the host Brooks. Shit. And I'm just hilarious. I don't know. Is that, <laughs> I still is that like, like Joustaburger? Oh, no. Joustaburger. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, I'm just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you can Which, order Joustaburger. That's right. If you're curious about Joustaburger and Renaissance Fairs, listen to Future Villains episodes. Of, episode We what? didn't talk about it. <laughs> Shut up. They don't know that. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to talk about the Renaissance Fair more on this one than we did on the Renaissance podcast. No, we're not. She nope. Go. We're talking about wrestling. And we're first going to talk about, well, later we're going to talk about who's going to get called up after WrestleMania. Uh, we're also going to talk about Mark Henry going to the Hall of Fame, the Greatest Royal Rumble, and Supercard of Honor. But right <coughs> now, we're oh, going to talk about... Damn, Something that's going to end up tying into the last part of the video. War Machine made their first in-ring appearance at NXT Sebring. Fuck. Yes. Oh boy. I, like, uh, at, what was the last show we watched? It was Fastlane. Mm -hmm. When uh, the Bludgeon Brothers came out, mm -hmm. I nearly screamed for you because I thought it was War Machine. Just when I saw the Titan Tron video. Oh, yeah. That would have been incredible. It would have been way too soon, but it would have been incredible. Um, that was dumb too. It was very dumb. But we've talked about it on the podcast. Did we? Yeah. Oh. Huh. I think didn't we? Okay. Well, if we didn't, it was really stupid that they were having a great match and the Bludgeon Brothers came out and bludgeoned. I guess. What's going on with that anyway? That should have happened on SmackDown like two months ago. Mm -hmm. Are they? Are they like? Is that going to be like a, a six man tag or something? Or yes, like... triple threat. <clears throat> Welcome to the Mania, Broken baby. Record Podcast. <laughs> Did we you really talk about that already? We we say the same thing every single week. We do? Every single week. I don't remember. Every single week. I just have a habit of making the same jokes because I'm every hilarious. Week. All right, Brian, goddamn. Every single week. I'm saying, oh, that should have it on SmackDown. Wrestling oh, fair enough. Yeah. You're going to be a triple threat every single week. Uh, I'm being a douche right how about now. this? <laughs> because I'm tired. Because I'll make a good point. The Bludgeon Brothers thing. Let's say that happened for like how many weeks are in between a pay per view? Like a half a week? Uh, <laughs> Thirty six to forty eight hours. Yeah, exactly. No, I think there's like two to three to four weeks in between a pay per view, right? So if we're lucky. Let's say the Bludgeon Brothers came out for like three out of the four of those weeks and attacked the Usos in the New Day. The pay-per-view, same thing happens. <clears throat> Those motherfuckers are ready for them. That would have been a better show. 
with the Usos and the New Day teaming up against the Bludgeon Brothers, that would have been more entertaining than just seeing them murder the tag teams. Right. Brooks, put your phone away. Yeah, mine's dead. I can't look at mine. You can't look at yours. Don't kiss my ass. I'm doing some research. Where, about what? what the about Jovi? T- no, bitch wrestling. Okay. <laughs> bitch Fair wrestling. enough. Bitch wrestling. <laughs> bitch wrestling. <laughs> so Roman Reigns. <laughs> That's right. Um, Can I, th- I think research? that would have just done a better show. I'm trying to do some research, too. Either way, they should have done it way beforehand. Yeah, absolutely. Because like, be- I, really, I actually want to see that match. Me, too. I'm actually, and I'm totally okay with the Bludgeon Brothers destroying people. That's how it should be. That was awesome in the respects of the Bludgeon Brothers were able to take them both out. But it just felt weird on a pay-per-view. Thank God we don't pay $70 for these stupid shows anymore. What are you smiling about? Every single week. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Usually I'm the one saying it. I'm just tired of saying it. Yeah, fair enough. Saying what? The same same thing thing. every week. Uh, I'm glad we don't pay $70 for this. Oh, this is going to be a triple threat. Just everything. Every single thing. Turns out it's not going to be a triple threat. No, that's SmackDown. (laughs) (laughs) Turns out, oh, nope, fuck, you're right. Nope, it's uh, (laughs) Braun Strowman is going to be the tag team champion. Which, yeah, good. I mean, I want to be more excited for it, but I'm cool with that. I mean, can they make an entertaining bit out of it? Yeah. Can they get something better for Braun? Yeah. I wish they would, but, you know, our luck's gone with that. But is Braun next in line to finally get, like, a good championship run? Why, why is he by, in the back of the line? He's at the front of the line as far as I'm concerned. Shit, if he's in the front of the line, why are he doing the tag shit? I don't know. But I'm saying, in our, in your opinion, because it's my opinion, Braun should be next in line for a good championship run. All right. I think he's entertaining as hell. And if you go back on this very podcast, I hated Braun Strowman. I thought it was boring as shit. Now, he's like one of my favorite things. He's super entertaining. He's a super entertaining dude. He's not... Yeah, they, they were able to turn him around. Yeah, he's not like the most entertaining guy in the ring. But he is like a Mark Henry or a Big Show. Where but his size is, is fun to watch him. Yeah. His size and all the stuff he can do. He uses his size to his advantage in a smart way. <laughs> the way he throws people around is crazy. Guys, he flipped a fucking ambulance. He did flip a fucking... <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. He pulled down a Titan Tron on two people. Wasn't it just a bunch of pipes? He, those Titan Tron, the, the, the Titan Tron, I can't even say it. Titan the damn Tron. screen is coming from the roof on hooks, really strong hooks, and he pulled it down on two people. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy the stuff that they've had him do, and then... He lifted up a car, so who was that that couldn't drive away? So that dude with the guitar couldn't drive away. I don't think I saw that. I saw that. I was on, I think I was on he did the he did the thing with Alexa Bliss. He tried to teach her how to flip a car. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Either way, he needed to be in a better spot than he is now. I would like to see after Mania. So he's on Raw, which means it's gonna be Roman Reigns is gonna be champion after Mania. I would like to see them have a short feud with Braun end up winning the belt, and then him and Alexa officially team up. And just be the most powerful couple in, on Raw. Dumb. Really? No, okay, I shouldn't say couple. It'd still be dumb. A team a little big is team little amazing. Dumb. No. Keep that where it's at. Okay, I, I do like team a little big. Yeah, I like it. Like I should have said match. couple because they're not a couple. Right. They don't have to be a couple just because they're man and woman. No, nah, keep that on the mismatch stuff. Don't put it on the main show. It, it, you don't see the, the stuff that happens between them, which is hilarious. It is. Like when he caught her. Yeah, uh, you know that well. They ain't going to let that happen on Raw. No. Keep it where it's at. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like dark dark, uh, dark matches. And like when Alexa said they're going to go all the way. <laughs> or like when Gold does want to kiss that girl. They ain't going to let that shit happen on Raw. Yeah, you're right. If they bring it on Raw, it's going to be messed up, ruined. Keep it where it's at. No, you're right. Thank you, Jake. As always, Brooks is right. I ain't always right. That's why Brooks was right. <laughs> Shut up, bro. 
just saying it sucks. It's a curse. It sucks? Yeah. To always be right? Nah, not... Not... Yeah, hey, it's you right, stuff man. on this show, too? Maybe you shouldn't drive. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, well, why cup. are you wrecking my... Fo- oh, that right. was a lookout. <laughs> Milo, sweet tea. And? Milo, sweet tea, zero carb, jello cap. Check it out. It's good. Why are you... They're not paying us for a sponsorship. <laughs> I don't care. Check it out. <laughs> buy the things that I buy, you know, they're not paying me to tell you to do it. <laughs> That's how you know it's really good. <laughs> so Mark Henry got announced with Hall of Fame. Woo! Proud of your dad? I am very proud of my daddy. All right. <laughs> it's about time. I'm sorry, do you not like that? Here, let me turn it out. What does that help? It sounded like pornography. It does. You watch your porn? He is. I think right here, so. Pharrell. Let me see. I don't think so. I'll show you some porn. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's for another podcast. Anyway. Guys. Calm down. That's for none of the podcasts. <laughs> that's for the Brooks Solo Show. Our dark secret podcast. Anyway. I, hey, it's about dark damn time. Secret with Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yep. They have a. You're um, going to have a fun time editing that one. They have a Harry Potter erotica. Yeah. Podcast. Hey, 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 hey. I hey, think that's hey. weird. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm getting I think tired. It's funny. I think it's weird. I, I would listen to it. Are you looking up that? No, I'm typing in Dark Secrets of Brooke. That's the name of the. That's oh, God. Dark Secrets of Brooke. <laughs> With Brooksy. You don't want to know my Dark Secrets. You de- I'll you definitely have that. It's for people to hear. I have the FBI and the CIA I, on my fucking farm. I door. guarantee you that will get more. It's. <laughs> I mean, your main dark secret is out. That you like Bon Jovi. That ain't no dark secret. Oh, I thought his here. dark secret was that he's dark. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. He died. Think he died. He would die. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jack. Go to work. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, I'm I'm happy with that. He deserved it. Yeah. I thought they were gonna wait until they went back to Texas. He probably dead by then. No. Then when when next time they go back to Texas? In a few years. No. Nah. They only go to like five fucking places for Bro, a Bro, D-Rock, they just built two big ass stadiums. Where? Minnesota and Atlanta. Okay. So after New York, you said they go to New York? After, uh, New yeah, York? 35. So after New York, they. The <laughs> fuck was that? Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> it's like LA or some shit, dude. No. Okay, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah. You're jacking off your. Peace up, A Town Down. See, I anyway. told them in the hip hop community. Yeah, okay. Brian's black. Anyway, uh. Black or you, man. You are. <laughs> you ain't got to mumble. Freaking, uh, after they get there in New York, they either gonna go to Atlanta or Minnesota, then they'll come back down to the South. Well, Atlanta is the South. <laughs> They're gonna go to Atlanta and come back to the South. <laughs> so they like, go to Atlanta and then Orlando? No, Texas. Then, I think they're, they're trying to take. bring it back to Orlando at 36 or 37. Nah, they gonna wait. Probably 40. Think that long? Yeah. Where? How long, how long, what was the first one in Orlando? That was, I don't know about the first one, but 24 was in Orlando. Yeah, that was the first WrestleMania. Oh, okay. That's the one I went to. 24. Then when, when, when was this? What, 33? This is 34. Oh, you mean this last one yeah. was 33. Yeah. So how many years between that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so it's going it's go, <laughs> it's go to be a while. They basically... What? what is going on? <laughs> what happened? Because I, I didn't want to do subtraction and addition. No, I'm laughing because I'm looking at the WrestleMania sign up here. Okay. What you see? And um, it just reminded <clears throat> me of a, a picture or a tweet I saw from Nakamura. It was just him. It was a picture of him, and I think it was um, for his WrestleMania match or something like that. But it had, it said, since. First, it's first name, and then the Snickers logo is right there, beside it, and then Nakamura was underneath it. So his tweet, all it said was, "Shinsuke Snickers Nakamura," because <laughs> that's exactly what it looked like on the, on the screen. I guarantee, if he pointed out, and like, he'll get so much money from Snickers. Cause he he, just... he at he tagged Snickers too. Bro, it he was, was Shinsuke get... at Snickers Nakamura. He gonna get so much money because that's just a big ass. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, Mark Henry's 46 years old. He's not going to be dead <clears throat> by the time we go back to Texas. Man, you don't never know when you're going to wake up and not wake up. God damn, Brooks. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's 
this is the dark podcast with Brooks. I'm I'm not I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Deep and dark with Brooks. <laughs> I look I ain't, I ain't You wanna talk about the Malaysian airline again? No. I ain't I ain't wish the man definitely. I'm just saying you never know, but they ain't gonna do it in Texas. If they would have done it in Texas, they would have did it at WrestleMania before. What uh, they did Jackie a Hall of Fame at that uh, stadium. Okay. So other than that, we've got uh, the class of headline by Goldberg, and we have Ivory, the Dudley Boys, Jeff Jarrett, Hillbilly Jim, uh, Kid Rock. I love that. What? I love, Jim? Hib- I love Hillbilly Jim. You know, I see a lot on Facebook because I get a lot of like kind of guys that are in the wrestling industry that are like super upset that X guy isn't in the Hall of Fame yet. Who? Have you seen that? Just whoever. Like, I can't believe that so and so is not in the Hall of Fame yet. Oh. Uh, there are I so mean, everyone's saying that. Many yeah, they, people, they've been saying that after that shit happened. But there's so many people that should be in the Hall of Fame and will be eventually. <laughs> but they only put so many people in every year. Like, what if there was like 30 guys that go in the Hall of Fame every year? That would be a really lame ceremony. That'd be a long ass ceremony. No, it would be like, it's going to be uh, Goldberg, Ivory, Dudley Boy, Jeff Jarrett, Hillary Jim are in the Hall of Fame. And we also have, we have this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. That would be the ceremony. That's lame. So let's, instead, let's celebrate these few people every year. And it's not like it fucking matters. <laughs> it's just a, a show. It's just a silly thing. And, and it matters just as much as who wins the match matters. Kinda. Half on pawn that fucking rain anyway, so Probably. <clears throat> it's two people that should be in the Hall of Fame, but I won't say their names. So. Go ahead. Who do you think? The one that you talking about. Me. Brian. Who am I talking about? Who are you talking about? I'm not talking Who about anybody talking in about? particular. Oh, I thought you were talking There's about... There's just a lot of people that should be. I, I, I'd have to look at the list, and then I could easily go, this guy, this guy, this well, guy. Well, I'll but... name one, you know. I... Real professional. Yep. He is a good professional wrestler, but... uh. Benoit. Not going to happen. Um, I know. China. China might happen. That, that's never going to happen. happen. That will never happen. Yeah, well, once no, everything no, fades away. It's not going to fade away. I think so. Oh, because Triple H. Triple H and Steph. Yeah. It's never going to fade away. Is Eddie in the Hall of Fame? If he's not, he should, He probably should, will be soon. Yeah, I think he is. I don't know if he is. I think he is. I don't know. Brian, who else would you want to see in the Hall of Fame? Who you want to see in the Hall of Fame? Rob Van Dam. Okay. I like that. Let me ask you a question about the Steve Hall of Fame. Steve Blackman to Jerry. Are you serious? Yeah. Steve Blackman? Yeah, I love Steve Blackman. I, 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 ride with, I like him too. Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock, yeah. He should be. He, he over the, whatever, he, whatever few he had with uh, Vince, it's, they over with from right here. Eddie Guerrero is not in the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> I'm shocked about that. When they go back to Texas, he will be. I guarantee it. What? Yeah, we'll see. Huh? What are you smiling about? That's for a different podcast. Huh? It's for a different podcast. Okay. Get off your phone. Back for sales. But um, uh, who do y'all think, outside of WWE and WCW, should be in the Hall of Fame? I think they should start doing that. If the WWE is like the top dog in wrestling. Oh, okay. They should, they should get like... Wrestlers that's not a part of the company and put them in the Hall of Fame. But like a, a bull, the what's his name, the Butcher Abdullah, that motherfucker never wrestled for the WWE, but he's in the Hall of Fame. Is that maybe a bad example though because of how bizarre he is and? Oh, but he never wrestled for. Him. He never wrestled for that. Company. Yeah, but doesn't he also? There's a lot of bad stigma around that guy. Why is he in the Hall of Fame then? Which Hall is he in WWE? Yeah, he's in there. Didn't you just say he isn't? No, I said he is. Oh. But he never wrestled for the company. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. they should do that. <clears throat> I, um, that, one, that one got me right there. Who's who's another big guy that never wrestled for WWE? It was a Japanese wrestler. No, I think Ibusha? he... Yeah. He never Ibushi? wrestled? No. I don't think so. I thought he did. I thought he's the one who didn't. Oh. I think I think Jushin Thunder Liger did, and he, he would deserve it, too. Tiger Mask. One yeah. through 87 yeah. or whatever. No, you're absolutely right. And that would, actually, that would be a way to, nope, that would make New Japan more popular. So they shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, guys, like, uh, oh my God, the trainer 
and NXT, the British wrestler. Uh, Vamp. Huh? Talk. Oh, you said Vamp. I was like, Vampiro? No. Mm. <laughs> oh, he deserves it. I put him in there, too. Robbie Brookside. As far as I know, he never wrestled with WWE. But he... Sarah Del Rey. She never wrestled for WWE, but she is arguably one of the most important people because of the women's revolution. What about that girl from TNA? That was in WWE, but didn't. Uh... Damn, I forgot her name. She's in a TNA Hall of Fame. I don't know. I didn't know there was a TNA Hall of Fame. They got something like that. I wonder if there's like a pro wrestling Hall of Fame. That's just everything. I think there is. There should. I think it is. There should. Well, if it is, then that just cancel what I just said. Then, if not, audio trademark. (laughs) Is that a thing? Audio trademark. They do it on the radio all the time. I don't know if it's real or not, but. (laughs) God damn. Like it is. Audio trademark March. 19th, uh, 2018, 8.53 p.m. Okay. But, yeah, there's just, there's always going to be a list of guys that are like, he should be in the Hall of Fame, and that list is just going to get smaller. Yeah. But it's like, with some of the people that should be in it, that we know should be in it, what else they got to do? They've done it all. Wait. Yeah, that's basically it. Wait to get put in the Hall of Fame. It's, a, it's some wrestlers that shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame now that should have waited. Get attention throughout the year doing other things. Social media. Charity work. Et cetera, et cetera. Even if they have dead? Yeah. Dead like kid. Well, he ain't <laughs> never get Hall of Fame. He's a half dead. I'm surprised he ain't dead yet, but anyway. Is ICP in the Hall of Fame? <clears throat> nah. That'd be a good one for the... The... Um, Celebrity wing. Yeah, I was just thinking about like the musicians and stuff. Yeah. Is Lunt Biscuit in the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. He didn't well, want to take a music. Hand. They will be soon if they're not. Yeah, but he's because not Lemmy. Dead. Yeah. Who? Lemmy from Motorhead. Oh, say, yeah. man, yeah. Man, especially, some... especially him and Triple H. I'm surprised they ain't in it already. Yeah. Yeah, and Kid Rock's going in this year. Who was it he did? Undertaker. American Badass. That was Kid Rock? Yeah. I thought it was Limp Bizkit. Uh, He used Roland, too. Oh, oh he you're did right. Roland yeah. and American Badass. Kid Rock's done wrestling. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Kid okay. Rock's done lots of pay per view songs, too. Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. He I did. Did he not do Stacey Keebler's music? Just because he did. So. What, so, like, every song they use on the pay per view should be in the Hall of Fame? No, but Kid Rock's just, he's performed at Who shows else and... in the music industry screams wrestling but Kid Rock? Chris Jericho. Well, he is a wrestler. <laughs> but as, like, a persona, like the white for Detroit, eh, <clears throat> you know, I don't really want to get into any more stereotypes, but who's <laughs> the most, like, stereotypical musician you could think of? That would just kind of vibe along with pro wrestling. Flow writer. <laughs> I guess so, damn. Well, Kid Rock deserves it. He's done a bunch of music for them. He's just done a lot of work with them. I'm you sure they'll have an Kid awesome Rock? video package. It'll explain everything. You know what I say about Kid Rock? What? Fuck Kid Rock. You don't like Kid Rock? No, I like him. I just want to say fuck him. Okay. I like him okay. I like his drummer. She's a woman. I didn't know that. Well, of course she's a woman. <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he got a girl drummer. Cool. Let the drummer get some. Shit, she ain't like, getting shit. Like, uh, just like on uh, Scott Pilgrim, Most of the World. Oh, I yeah? just watched that. Um, I spent so long to watch that movie. They have a girl drummer? <laughs> so, have you guys heard about this greatest Royal Rumble? No. It's going to be April 27th. It's going to be on the network. Um, it's going to... All seven championships are going to be defended. And there's going to be the first ever 50-man greatest oh World Rumble match. God, it's going to be seven-hour fucking pay-per-view. It's going to, it's going to take place it? from Saudi Arabia. Huh? Gender's yeah. going to win what? <laughs> Wrong country. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm just... You know, the, the general area. Okay. Uh, Wait, is this legit? Yeah. WWE? Yes. 
They doing the Royal Rumble outside the country. The greatest Royal Rumble. Man, we're going to get bombed. <laughs> Why? Because we're taking the Royal Rumble there? It's a setup. This a man Trump doing. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> More oh, conspiracy theories. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> you, want to, you want to pause this podcast to record another one about conspiracy theories? No, not really. Yeah, yeah I hate conspiracy theories. Uh, no podcast I'll be, about it. I'd be scared to walk outside because I'd be thinking people listen to us. I hate speculations on yeah. podcasts. And I hate conspiracy <laughs> theories. Um, so, yeah, they're going to all titles will be defended. <clears throat> That's weird. They haven't said anything about the women's championship being defended or any women's matches. A 50 man Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. You know how long that's going to take? Well, I'll do the last one take. An hour or so, right? Yeah, it's going to be like two hours. Yeah. 50 person. Honestly, dude, I want to watch it because Royal Rumbles are fun. Yeah, not that damn long. Strowman ends up with a women's title on accident. <laughs> I mean, are, are we gonna watch this? Maybe wait until after and hear if it's good. We might as well watch it live if we're gonna do it. Gotta do it. Baby. Yeah. What is I it? Think they're when fun. Is it? Who is this it? Is April twenty seventh. Wait. Hold on. What? Oh wait, no. April twenty seventh. What is that? Next is that month. Mid-rain? No, no. That could be um. Uh, pirate. It's a dark water though. Okay. Mid rain is in May during the Sunset Festival. Yeah. Which I'm still designing. May. That's right. People are going to be upset if Tripod's not around. They, they are. Mean, tripod want to go get his tripod on at the Sunset <laughs> Festival. You get your tripod on at the Mid rain. April 27th is a Friday. You know what tripod it's a party. About? I do know. Okay. It's a Friday. The show's on. Which is weird. So it's like. It's just going to be a, a, a network special. Right, right. Like the uh, tribute for them, but I ain't special no more. Do they do that anymore, the tribute to the troops? Is it <coughs> the first time? Okay. I don't know, I'm just making shit up. I mean, is this... I don't think this pay-per-view is going to matter. I, I'll watch it. Well, I'll, I'll watch it. I enjoy R- Rumbles. I'll watch it if y'all watch it. It's a Friday. Yeah, I, I watch this up, y'all. Okay. Uh, and now we can talk about the Super Card of Honor. Finally. <laughs> Brian, All right. Brian has woken up. <laughs> You've got my attention. Uh, there's some guy named Kenny King. I don't know any of these names. I'm just kidding. God, you're going to kill me. Uh, Kenny King versus Silas Young Last Man Standing Match. The ROH World Television Championship. Damn, son. Let these people know when... Is this happening and where? It's happening the day before WrestleMania in New Orleans. Right down the street. Yeah. Damn, if that don't... That's what they do. Look at if that don't let that you know... I know, but... Okay. It's awesome. I know, but think about it, though, man. It's like... You know we're going on in New Japan working with each other now. To put on a oh, match yeah. like that, a cart like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we also have Tomohiro Simples. Ishii versus Punishment Martinez. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, who? Tomohiro? Okay, you can't correct me? You're good. <laughs> uh, SoCal Uncensored, which is Christopher Daniels, Frankie Gazarian, Scorpio Sky. That's great. Uh, versus the Young Bucks and Flip Gordon. Uh, <laughs> ladder match for the ROH World six ta- Six-Man Tag Team Championship. Uh, Hangman Page versus Kota Ibushi. What? That'll be good. Nice. Uh, is that? Kelly Klein... Or Mayu Iwatani versus Suma Sakai or Tanil Dashwood, former Emma. Oh, uh, no. What? That's oh. for the inaugural Women of Honor Championship. Oh, Emma is part of Ring of Honor? Emma, what? You Emma's. said Emma's in Ring of Honor? Yeah. She's, yeah. I mean, it's indie, so they're like in every. Oh, yeah. Well. Um, Dalton Castle, who is apparently the current champion, versus Marty Skrull for the ROH World Championship. Fuck. That'd be a hell of a match. Yes. That's crazy. That's... I still can't believe they put the belt on Dalton. Oh, I can. He's just, like, he's such a beloved character now. Yes. I'm just saying, if this was any other promotion, and we won't name it... Name it. (laughs) WWE. You would have a beloved character like Dalton. You would never put a championship on him. No. 
like Val Venus or yeah. Fandango or Fandango, however the fuck you say it. Or Braun Strowman. <laughs> I think it's Dango or if sis- you want movies. Sis- what? <laughs> you damn Dingo? Yeah, yeah I, is, there's it? many companies. I would say including TNA and shit like that. They would never put a, a, a goofy character who can't wrestle. That's they why would I, never put their main champion. That's why Ring of Honor is different and awesome. Yeah. Because Dalton Castle's goofy as fuck. Yeah, but... He, Duke he, can go. And he is so good. He is. So good. He, he's he got an it factor for sure. Yeah. And he is the super entertaining, super great in the ring, super card of honor. <laughs> I, I'm really looking forward to this. We gotta catch up on our ROH. Yes. I always try have, to watch it. Do yeah. we have a way to? I watch it on TV. Well, now my y'all got TV. Oh, yeah, we don't have cable. I watch, it comes on every Saturday. Now right? they have their watch. subscription service, I believe. Do we get the weekly show with that? I'm not sure. Subscribe to it, motherfucker. You're the one that's I'm like, guys, cheap. let's watch more indie stuff. I've got the login for New Japan. Guys, let's watch more indie stuff, is what you say. Yeah. Let's go watch more indie stuff. Yeah. Where? What? On the YouTube page. Working. That's how I used to keep up with it. I just I would catch up on their YouTube we'll page. YouTube up right now. Yeah. Watch it after this. Man, it's a fucking PlayStation. We, 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 need, we need to hit the freaking Ocala. What, see, yeah, what's, right. see what's going OC on over there with Dub? that. Yeah. See what's going on. OC Dub? <laughs> No. <laughs> what? He called me a girl a little bit. You know, OC Duh. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah, we have so <clears throat> many wrestling shows around us. <clears throat> including, and I know this is WWE, but including NXT. Yeah. I wouldn't even consider that WWE. I don't either. It's it so much better than like WWE. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel bad we missed the last two. Dude, yeah. I, I went to the Citrus Price Community Center the other day. Yeah. I didn't realize how big that son bitch was. It's pretty big, yeah. Holy it's crap, nice. dude. I would love to watch a match in that motherfucker. It's fun. Dude. Oh, you've never been to an NXT show there? Not there. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, that's a... I would say it's nicer than the Armory, but oh, marginally yeah. nicer. It's bigger than the Armory. It's much nicer than the Armory. Yeah. It's more space. Even after the Armory remodeled, and it looks exactly the yeah. same. The roof is more higher for that one, so it's, it feel like it could do more. And you ain't that close to the range. They feel yeah. like indie shows. If anything, they're more indie than like ROH now because ROH has screens that always show like TV screens and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they ain't that big though. You, a lot of indie shows starting to do that though. Yeah. You know, yeah, we saw. Uh, you gotta just hang, a, hang a fucking TV up there and put a logo on it. Yeah, you can get a cheap flat screens are cheap. Yeah. Projector. Are cheap. Yeah, just put a projector. Yeah, we we should start watching more ROH. I really think uh, after we, WrestleMania season. And after Raw, which that's not going to matter because we're going to you know talk about that the week after, we need to start watching our ROH and everything. I think after all that, we need to go on a couple trips yeah. like we used to do back in the day. Yeah. And vlog, 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 interview, interview, and all that. Yeah. I mean, this has been my whole thing about this podcast is WWE, I feel like, would bring in better numbers. We've been doing it for a year. We've been doing pretty good. Maybe it's time to mix it up. Ain't nothing wrong with Chain. You know, let us know, listeners, what you want us to talk about. Because we we love all these our Ring of Honor guys. We n- not know, but we like, you know, we're familiar with all of them. Are you much. tired of hearing me bitch about wrestling? Yeah. <laughs> Tell these guys, let's watch more Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor, New Japan. I ain't I, got no problem watching more. I've got an old uh, uh, PWG show on my hard drive that we need to watch. Because those things are timeless. Oh, yeah. I have, which I'm sure was acquired fully legally, but I have a giant box full of DVDs, and it's all indie DVDs. I got rid of all my I have a ton of PWG DVDs. I got PWG. I have a lot of FIP, Ring of Honor. uh, I don't... No? <laughs> I've got just a bunch of Japanese stuff, a bunch of compilation stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, just stuff we could go through and we could talk about that. But uh, one thing we haven't mentioned from the Super Card of Honor, 
It's Kenny Omega versus Cody. Yeah. Have y'all seen? Well, Brian, that mind you told you told us about it last time. I want to bring it up because it's last. It's old shit. But that little bit right there just added more fuel to the fire. Yeah. I I, I cannot wait to watch that match. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see where what the future of the Bullet Club holds. Why, I'm, I'm going to be sad, man. Why is this match happening? Like, why not? But why, like, storyline-wise? Are they mad at each other? I don't think they've ever gotten along, from what I can tell. Right, we know that. But did something cause one to challenge the other? Well, when Cody's girlfriend kissed Kenny, okay. that could be part of it. Okay. Or Kenny being in the bear costume and attacking yeah. Cody. That's how you do a bear costume gimmick, by the way. Did someone else do a bear costume gimmick? Yeah, the the Miz and someone was in the bear costume, whoever he was, or was not in the bear costume, this. or was in the grandfather clock. I don't know, that was bullshit. <laughs> I vaguely remember that, I know what you're talking about. But that match is going to be probably match of the year. Either way, it's in the same city as fucking WrestleMania. And it's probably going to get more credibility than fucking WrestleMania. NXT is going to be better than WrestleMania. You oh, know, God, yeah. We should draw New Orleans just for the Ring of Honor. You going to pay for it? Ain't no, ain't if no. you would like to pay for it, patreon.com slash villains. <laughs> you can help us go on trips like that, get better equipment so we can do these things. If you want to support us, absolutely go there, even if you just donate a dollar. We'll make we'll make awesome content for you, just for you. A dollar would get us to New Orleans. Well, a dollar from a bunch of people. Absolutely would not. <laughs> would not get us there. So, I'm doing the math in my head now. I'm not good at math, but we need more than a dollar, folks. So yeah, I'm excited for this. It's on a Saturday, so we can watch it, put out a podcast, and then do the one on Sunday. Be underwhelmed and put out a podcast. Is it? Oh, this is going to compete with uh, the NXT show, isn't it? The NXT show is probably on Saturday. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yep. Or is it Friday? No, it's Saturday. Saturday. Is it Saturday? It's always on a Saturday. I thought they did one on a Friday. Watch them both at the same time. They could. Yeah. 100% could. Go buy another TV. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't need Patreon.com slash future villains. Help Brian buy another TV. Oh, yeah. Do that. I mean, if you guys <laughs> want to buy me a new TV cool as fuck but Jess wants me to get a new TV I'm like why why we have and you think it's weird I only have one TV it's weird you only have one TV what's weird about it I've never been in a house that had one TV my grandma got like three of them but I only watch I, I hate it it was like the living room TV and then the bedroom TV you don't need no TV in the bedroom that's for you and your girl to, to hang out and Talk and express yourself, not fucking and, sit there and watch TV. Do things that happen on the Brooksy show. <laughs> Dark secrets from Brooksy. Oh my god. But, yeah, like, I don't. Like, a TV in the garage would be cool, but Make then it. I'd just be in the garage all the time. That's the point. Get away. Have if, your if I got that TV, and I don't know if I've told you what I'm thinking about getting a massage chair, I'll never leave. I would just I would just be done. I'll, I'll buy that. I'll yeah. get in that house across the street and just come over and just sit in the massage chair. <laughs> You know, it would be a great bit as, like, the garage, and then the TV pops in the frame, and the massage chair pops in the frame. Brian pops in the frame, the beard just gets longer, and then pop in another massage chair, and it's Brooks, and his beard just gets longer, pop in another one, my beard just gets longer. We just sit there. Massage chair. Just live there. Massage chair envy. If you want us to live in a massage chair and watch wrestling... Patreon.com slash YouTube. I'm excited about the beard getting longer, too. That's exciting. Absolutely. I almost shaved mine. I decided not to. Anyway. I was looking at beads for mine. It's getting about that way. <laughs> Bruce is like, time. Time. We, got, we do got one more thing to talk so about. Tired. We're going to try and keep these next few episodes WrestleMania themed. Oh, I thought you were going to say short. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we, I do want to talk about who you guys think is going to get called up to the main roster after Mania. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't been watching, so I don't know. Well, we've been watching NXT. I, I haven't been watching NXT. Well, we watch the pay-per-views and everything. We pretty much know what's going on. I'm watching NXT pay-per-views. 
Is it just me and you that watch NXT pay per views? I think so. Well, then go to go sleep. Take a nap. Take a nap. Nap time. Oh, 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 I don't watch them either. Can I take a nap? Uh, so right now the champions are Andrade Cien Almas, Ember Moon, the Undisputed Era, and Pete Dunne is the United yeah. Kingdom Championship. I didn't know that counted as NXT Championship. Yeah, I think so. Um, any of those could one hundred percent get called up to the main roster. Uh, I think Aleister Black should probably get called up to 205 Live. What? No, this... he's 217. Is he? Yes, he is. I follow okay. his Instagram. If they, they were the smart... they sh- Nobody should go nowhere until Vince leave. Okay. Stay down there until he leave. Then Triple H take it over. Then they can come up. I still, like, you've said that you just want 205 Live to be incorporated into Raw, right? Might as well. Because I you think look. Aleister Black would be great on 205 Live. He would add so much to it. I will, would rather see Aleister Black feuding with, like, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and all those names. But he would add so much to 205 Live that he almost should go there. Nah, it, to, like, well, the way I see it, if they did it like that, it'd be more so matches on row. Huh? It could be very easily. He doesn't want to be. He wants to be two seventeen. Okay. Nah, fuck two hundred five. Just bring him out the cruiserweight division and put him on row. That's what two hundred five like. That's cruiserweight division. Yeah, but it's not like it used to be the way no. it should be doing. It should be on SmackDown because SmackDown treats the wrestlers better. It's more wrestling. The wrestling better. That's where, that's, that's where it should be. They just need to stop with the acting and go more wrestling. Yeah. Um, I think Roderick Strong might get called up because he's in the 205 Live tournament. So he might be permanently staying there. I think, again, again that's a great place for Roderick Strong is 205 Live. Yes. Um, I don't think, as much as of a Roderick Strong fan as I am, I love Roddy. I don't think he would do all that great on the main, main roster against all the big names. Yeah, probably not. Unfortunately. And I hate saying that. Yep. But I just don't think they would treat him correctly. He would just get lost. That's why I say this wait. Yeah. If, if Do they have a choice or just get called up? They don't have a choice. Oh, God. You know they don't have a choice. I thought you'd be like, I'm not ready yet. You know, if... I mean... You might it's, have a. You might have a to, say so. But. It's probably a lot like the sorting hat. If you're talking to Triple H and you're like, I don't think I'm ready, he'd probably be like, All right, let's talk about it. But yeah. Vince McMahon, it's like, No, you're to me. Vince ain't talking to them. It's all Triple H talking. No, but it's very much for Vince McMahon to say, I like that guy. Get him on my show. Then all of a sudden, boom, he's leaving the WWE a month later. Uh, I think either. Uh, Oh my god, what are their names? The creepy ass people. Sanity. Yeah. Sanity is one million percent ready to come to the main roster and murder everybody. What's my boy's name? What? Trump Barata? No. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Young? Which other one? My own, Eric Young. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I love me some Eric, Eric Young. Eric Young is so oh, fucking good. Oh, there Eric you go. Young's so there good. Good. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I love Eric Young. He's like the best part of TNA. And then he left yeah. TNA. And now he's one of the best parts of NXT. His best part about Team Canada. That's right. Bobby Roode was the worst part about Team Canada. Shut up. But he's Bobby. glorious. Hey, I will oh, give yeah. it. What about Tommaso and Johnny Gargano? There are another two names that would not get treated that well. I don't think. Yeah, probably not. Especially Johnny Gargano. He doesn't look like a WWE guy at all. No. He's the best He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Is he not the best wrestler in the world? No. Who is? Kenny Omega? Mm, probably. Is probably. he really? Kenny Omega? Yeah. Ugh, it'd be hard to argue against. That's we gotta do some research before we talk about that then. We've done research. You gotta do you got a lot more research. Years and years of research. <laughs> And a lot of mine was legitimate research, not just watching wrestling. Like <laughs> so. if, uh, if y'all did your research, then y'all would be hesitating to say who's the best in the world. I, it's oh, I am hesitating. That's why I asked. Is he not? And you should be confident in your answer if you did your research. I'm not going to say it because I don't know. 
I don't want to say because there's so many amazing contenders for it. Do you research on Brian Danielson? That's the one. Is he not? Well, he's not active technically. What's I said Brian Danielson. He he's definitely that. not active. Brian Danielson was active. Yeah, and when he was, he was the best. He. I'll give you that. We're doing that, then I'm going to say CM Punk. He was best in the world. Original best in the world. Yeah. So, that's my final answer. I can't wait until something, until he leaves WWE for many reasons. So we can see him wrestle again, but also so we can get shoot interviews with Brian Danielson. Yeah. Because you know those are going to be really fucking good. Yeah. Because I want to know, was he cool with Punk taking the best in the world moniker? Ooh. Is he cool with me Probably taking not. it? Probably not. <laughs> He'll come kick your ass tomorrow. He may have been, because he had the American Dragon thing at the time. I'm missing Raw. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You're not missing anything. I'm Brian Danielson, the American Dragon, best in the world. It was all of it. He, what were the other names he had? I don't know, but he had the greatest chance ever. Still Ob- does. Obviously, best in the world. Best in the world. Yes. No. Dude's a chant machine. You're going to get your, your fucking, fucking head, head kicked in. That is the best <laughs> chant Dude, ever. And that's one of the things that got me back into wrestling, because I was watching a match with him, and I was like, what is the crowd saying? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Kenny Omega, bro, bro, what's, what? Brian Danielson. Who, what's one out of two? Who would win? Yeah. The prime uh, of both of them at their prime, or right both now? of them at their prime. We all win in that case. Kenny, I respect that <laughs> answer, Brian. Yeah, I bet we can find that match too. I'm sure they've had a match, but not in their prime. Not in not the Kenny Omega of today. Like, yeah. well, I'm saying this. Brian Daniels is probably still in good shape. He probably still Absolutely. goes wrestling. So let's say... Now, if we got Kenny Omega versus Brian Danielson in a month, that would be in their prime. Who will win then? We, we win. I understand. We if win. I'm being perfectly honest, Kenny Omega would win because of how Brian Danielson is. Just because of the person he is. He also has the best promos. Him yeah. and Paul London catch the buzz. Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> They Should we just do a Brian Danielson, Danielson podcast? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forget wrestling. We just do a Brian Danielson podcast. We could. I'm totally for doing shit like that. Like it just like a weekly show. I want to kind of see him AJ just style. Brian Danielson. We did like 30 minutes on CM Punk versus John Cena at Money in the Bank. Because that was such a great match. We could do a podcast on one guy's career. No, I mean like a weekly show. Just one oh. guy. Every on week. Brian Dan- oh, Brian <laughs> Oh. Wait, uh, just on Brian Danielson? Yeah. Okay. Every, every week is just about him. Future Dragons. <laughs> Future Dragons. Uh, Future Brian's. <laughs> uh. But other than that, I think, I, I guess Authors of Pain could get called up. Is there as ready as they're ever going to be? Yeah, no? get them called up. Get them on... They need... Listen, they're much better. They're much better than they used to be. uh, But they need something else. They need a main roster spot. And just let them work with those guys. And let them sink or swim. Because I think that'll be a very telling sign of how good they actually are. Yeah. What show will be best for? Uh, Whoever has. I don't know. Whoever has the more experienced tag teams. Because that's what they need. Like, I'll go to Smyrna, but Smyrna got them stupid asses down there. Who? Freaking the police department. What do we call them? Fashion oh, police. Oh, fashion police. I mean, SmackDown has the Usos and the New Day and the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, that's three of them, but then everybody else is just fucking goofballs. Who, who else is it? Raw has the freaking bar and the Revival. I wouldn't count the Revival because they're not as experienced. Oh, the Ascension, yeah. Um, we just saw all of them. Freaking, they definitely need. O'Neal. They definitely need more tag team on SmackDown. I think they need to be on Raw, just because Raw SmackDown their tag team division is not good. Who? Raw. Raw. They have the bar. Fucking amazing. What the hell wrong with you? Oh, I just figured out why Braun Strowman is going to WrestleMania against the bar. What? What's wrong? 
Why are you, are you laughing or crying? Oh, I just saw the funnies. Is that anything <laughs> to do with wrestling? I thought he was crying. <laughs> I'm going to. I just figured out why Braun Strowman's going against the bar at <laughs> WrestleMania. What? So who else is he going to go against? O'Neal and Apollo? Uh, the Revival, which I'm okay with, but they haven't, the revival. they haven't been treated well on Raw. Um, or by the, the fucking Miz Taraj. Uh, like, the tag teams on Raw are shit. So that's why it's Braun Strowman. Hmm? Well, Brian, you hurt my ribs. And I ain't gonna laugh. Oh, my God. Alright, do you guys got anything else to add to who could get called up? Because I'm looking at this and... I mean, Cassius Ono is the only name that stands out to me. Oh, and I would no. rather Cassius stay on oh, NXT. No. Yeah, for right now. Till there's a spot for him. Uh, other than that, I mean, Pete Dunne, maybe? Yeah, there's he, no one he's else. He's not really on NXT. I know, that's why I'm like, maybe. Um, and as far as the women go... I don't know. Shayna Baszler and Amber Moon are ready. Kyrie Sane is ready. Nikki Cross is ready. Candace just got there. I don't know. No one else is really ready. That's about it. I really think it needs to be uh, uh, Andrade. Andrade and Ember Moon. Once he loses to Aleister Black, yeah. Who the... Uh, Who's he up against at New Orleans? Alistair fucking Black. Is he? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, because I follow his Instagram. <laughs> what happened to that dude that was like always 10? He's on SmackDown, I think. Is but he real? No one knows. Um, Where is he? Have you seen him? He he has, has, have you, has there been any high gentleman you're signing? <laughs> on a pre-show. He's a, Can I tell you something? Apparently like, he's a cryptid. What does that mean? Fuck. Oh, like, what? My phone died. Oh. Before I can show you guys the picture, I'm laughing at. So at least a couple times a week, I become very sad because when I'm riding my bike, I listen to music, and Ty Ty Dillinger's theme song is one of the songs I mainly listen to. And I realize how much I miss him. He was on that pre-show. He's amazing. He's he's over as hell. Everyone loves his chant. Apparently the WWE staff doesn't Uh, like his chant. uh, I don't know why. 10, 10, 10. It's great. It's whatever. This show's great. It's been great. Thank you for listening, guys. These two are ready. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you for listening to the show. My name's been Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. You can find me on Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, Twitter at Best of the Realm, YouTube, Best of the Realm, twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm. You can find me at Twitter on Jeremy Brooks42. Instagram, J Brooks42, and uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to add to that? No, I got that. Brian? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Brianman25 or Instagram Brianman1138, or you can find me about to go to bed. Don't find him in bed. That'd be weird. Yeah, don't. I'll have to get mad. I don't like being woken up. <laughs> you can find all of this content on YouTube. You can just look at Future Villains, Twitter at Future Villains, Facebook Future Villains. Or our website, futruevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Spell that shit. Go check out the Future hey. Villains podcast. We had a very special episode this week. We talked about the Malaysian voicemail bullshit. We talked about mainly about the Bay Area Renaissance Festival. Mainly? We but tried to. We tried to. <laughs> that was a good podcast. <laughs> that, was, that one was all over the place. Uh, but thank you for listening, guys. We go.